First here at noon, we start with that SWAT situation at a home in Westlake Hills started about two and a half hours ago, and it comes after a standoff earlier this morning involving the exact same house with a man who holed himself up there. KXAN's Alicia Enns has been out there all morning long, and Alicia, what are police saying about this one? Yes, good afternoon, Brian. You know, I was here at about 6 o'clock this morning when this is all going on. It actually started about 10 o'clock last night. But I'm going to step aside and show you, if you zoom in down this road, we kind of took a different angle. There's a SWAT team member that's been hanging out at this corner. We have been able to hear from this angle them use, this is Austin Police SWAT team, using the loudspeaker, trying to coerce this man to come out. They're, they're asking him to pick up his phone or come out. They're saying with the loudspeaker, if you do not engage in conversation, we cannot guarantee your safety. I've also heard them say, we are the Austin Police Department and we aren't going anywhere. So again, they are really trying to get this person out. We believe it's the same individual that sparked this overnight a SWAT situation. And what we understand is that last night about 10 o'clock, a call came in from a mom saying her son was intoxicated and had a weapon. And when police showed up, uh, that man fired around. It's not clear if he fired that at a police officer or into the air. But then that's what sort of sparked this concern that engaged the SWAT team to come in. At that point, it was the Travis County Sheriff's Office SWAT team that was here. They were taking over. They left at a certain time this morning. Uh, it was about 7.30 that they left the scene here. We understand that Austin Police Department SWAT team then came in to take over. They have since been here. There's a command center. I just saw two canine units pull up as well. Again, there's a very active scene going on right now, but we did talk to a neighbor earlier this morning while there was a lot more happening, and she talked about some of the concern and how this made her very uneasy. Especially when I know most of the people that live in this neighborhood, um, even though that's not Rollingwood per se, I know many people because we walk on that street, but uh, it's, it's very concerning because it could be somebody I know. And the man we understand is in his 50s. And again, uh, the, earlier this morning, they had evacuated four to six homes in the area. They also did a reverse 911 call to let people in the area know what was going on and ask them to stay inside their homes. They still have a section of this neighborhood blocked off, and they're not letting people in right now simply because they're trying to work with this individual and get him to come out. Again, this has been hours. This has been going on. They are using the loudspeaker. There's a very strong presence, police presence in the area. A lot of cars driving by, and just take it slowly if you do come into this area. But again, we're trying to figure out what the situation is, why this is going on, um, and just making sure everyone here is safe in this area. But as soon as we know anything, we'll be sure to update you. And as always, you can check on our website 24-7 at KXAN.com. For our live in Rollingwood, Alicia Inns, KXAN News. All right, going on 13, 14 hours now there.